I've been busy, but also a little idle? Let me explain. First, I went and did some turtle breeding so I can get an egg to help increase the efficiency of our zombie farm. And while doing all of that, I ran into a zombie villager that I did successfully capture. I named him Gavin. After the zombie farm was up and running, I relocated our enchantment setup down to the XP farm so I didn't have to keep going back and forth. And then I AFK'd for a while so I could get enough levels to finish enchanting all of our tools and armor. Now it's definitely not the best, but I've already been sitting here for quite a few hours and considering what we're doing, 100 hours challenge, kinda cheap to just stand here for another three or four hours to try to get the best enchantment. So we're not gonna do that. Part of the reason why I wanted to spend so much time upgrading everything is try and get that guy cured moved into the house somewhere in this corner because it's now very empty and then head over there to the village set up auto breeder slash carrot farm and start doing some villager stuff. Specifically I want this guy hopefully to be our mending boy but in order to start doing any of that the first thing we need to actually do is head into the nether and I need to find myself fortress. I need blaze rods. Now I'm just gonna go generally, I think, out of the soul sand valley if I can. I'm gonna try and just head straight on past the bastion, although, wait a second. Wait a second. I almost forgot about my special nether hat. No. Oh no. All right, well, we're down here now. Oh my. Oh my. Well, there's a bunch of striders down there. I see a warped forest down there, which actually could be nice to go and get some warped wood. Hopefully get the achievement. We're touching, touching all the grasses. Let's do it. Let's go touch the grasses. Oh, 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 oh. My heart. Oh, you punk. You didn't even make any noise. I thought I was so safe. Oh, oh, some of this home with me. Now off we go to the blue grasses. Don't mind me, I just want to touch your grass. Oh man, what am I missing? Ah, there we go. I didn't go far enough into there. I think you ended up taking out about half of their population for these few ender worlds. Oh my sweet Jesus, dude. So over there-ish, Generally, that you can see a little bit of the blue, is the warped forest I was just in and exploring around for like the past 20 minutes, give or take. This is like the crimson forest that we walked through to get there. I came right through here and around the corner and up that way. Look what I would have found. All right, let's actually go ahead and just cut our way in like that. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Oh, they, I can one shot them? Oh, I have smite. Ha, 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 ha. Oh my god, it's a double spawner. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know how I feel about the double spawner, guys. Feels like a really good way to get myself beat up. I'm out of arrows. Yeah. How many of these do I actually need? I think I'm actually more scared of them than I should be. I think I have fire resist and I don't think it's a big deal. I have multiple layers of protection and fire resist. I think I'm okay. But that's what I'm afraid of is getting knocked off the freaking planet aha 10 okay oh I didn't like that push I didn't like that push that's good enough for me easy screenshot of the cord or multiple screenshots of the cords let's head home it's good to be back that was terrifying now that we're home safe and sound I think I'm gonna go ahead and set up um, one of these corners here I guess maybe that corner it's already kind of set up to do some brewing with and to be quite honest that that really might just about do it it doesn't need to be crazy I want to go ahead and read our common question of the day and the comment I picked for this episode was from Clockworks who said good job on the intro love it man hardcore survival is fun and indeed it is how many times did it take you to get started? And I actually kind of forgot that I was doing the whole question of the day thing and answered this question in the comments of the last episode. <laughs> I still think it's a good question and I want to talk about it. So basically, you guys have seen everything that I've done on this Let's Play. I don't have any time off screen really besides a little bit of AFK and doing some very small things kind of around the house, like doing a little bit of this decorations a little bit of this decorations, but I do it all, I can talk about it all in the recap of the episode and I record little bits of it to kind of prove that I'm doing it legitimately. This is my first try at hardcore, ever, period. 
and so far it's been super fun and I've been really enjoying it. And I'm already kind of thinking of ideas and stuff that I can do in the future with hardcore. Maybe something like semi-similar to what Gria did. But yeah, I, I have ideas. I've been stuff I've been thinking about. I've been having a lot of fun with hardcore. But yeah, to answer the question more directly, um, everything you've seen on camera has been how long it's taken. Now, um, I'm going to try to do the difficult part. Sun's going down. And I've got a little spot here that I think I'm gonna try to nestle him in the corner here. We can squeeze through, but I don't think he will be able to pathfind his way out of there. But in order for any of that to make sense, we gotta try to get him inside first. I would really appreciate if we made this as painless as possible, please. Can you just follow me nicely into the house? No issues? Oh, he hurts. He does have that enchanted shovel. Okay, follow me, Kevin, follow me, follow me. I think it's through Kevin. I think it's through Kevin. How am I going to get you in the corner and not me? Okay. Okay. Kevin, get in. Thank you. Now, Kevin, Kevin, I would really appreciate you just go in the corner. Thank you. Good, sir. Uh, let's go ahead and splash him. I have a golden apple right here already. Perfect. And now we sleep. Never, never mind. Kevin's a monster. I had to forgot. <laughs> oh, it's morning. We've waited all night. Hey, Kevin, you're you're all better, and you have loyalty, which just sucks. But you're all better. Now comes the fun part. I want mending. I want mending from Kevin. So, I'll uh, I'll let you know. <laughs> There it is, there it is, we got him. We got him, mending Mending is here, but I don't have anything to lock it in. I forgot I spent all my emeralds. Where's the horse? We're taking all of the paper that we can make and one of these tables up here, and we're going over to the village. And I'm gonna try and sell paper enough for three emeralds. Oh goodness, and it's almost nighttime. This could not have been planned any worse, I'm sorry. Good luck, beautiful horse. I will rescue you in a moment. Go quick, gotta go quick, gotta go quick. Where are any, all the villagers are gone? You there. Take the left turn. Buy my paper. Good for you. Okay. Goodbye. And we're off. We've succeeded. Heading back, hopefully safely. Don't stop moving! Go! <laughs> go, go, go. Go, go, go. Please don't stop moving. That would be bad for us. Please go, go, go. You beautiful horse, thank you so much. I'm buying a bookshelf just to lock you in. Okay, let's buy our first three mending books. I'm gonna go ahead and put that straight onto my sword, my silk touch pickaxe, and the crown of Gyro City. Right now it's more like a Gyro, uh, house on the hill <laughs> but you know we'll get there now though that we have this guy set up and we have the option for mending books for days thank you very much Kevin I think the next very important step that we need to take is to head over here to the village and start setting up or well rather fully set up an automatic breeder so let me just get the items together that we're gonna need head over there and do that all right, I've collected all the items that I think I should need. And I went ahead crafting an enter chest. And I'm also hoping to go ahead and make a little bit more of a path from the house to the village. Because I do plan on walking this more often than not. And that's exactly what I ended up doing. Spent about an hour just kind of feeling out the path. And I did a little bit of path design back towards my base. I'll show you that later. Now, this design that I'm going to be using is incredibly simple. I've actually used it quite a few times here on the channel, but the first thing that we need to do is actually set up a center block, which will hold the water, like say right there. One, two, three, four blocks out. And now we just can fill in the diagonals because we really don't need a whole ton of farmland for this. And then we surround it in glass, which I have a mod that makes my glass look particularly see-through, which it's actually a resource pack, but I'm, I'm really not sure if I'm digging it. And then there's a few more steps. So for the most part, I already have everything set up over there. Right now, <laughs> try to get these guys where they need to be with only 15 rails and three powered rails, not counting those ones there. So I'm hoping water will help. will help move a little bit quicker down this hill. Otherwise, we're just pushing. 
It's a slow process, but it's it's working sorta. All right, I guess we're really just gonna start trying to orient these guys at just a few blocks at a time. Make our way very slowly over the ramp, other side of the water. Off you go. Now just hang out there. Now you, come on. All right, there we go. Just get you guys just a little bit closer, please. All right, sir, you first. You're gonna be our farmer. I do sincerely hope you enjoy your new job. And now you, well, you might, you might be our farmer because he hasn't taken it yet. Okay, you're our farmer, perfect. Now, while I clean this up, I'm gonna let them uh, hopefully have a moment over there. Just so I can make sure this thing actually functions the way that it's intended to. Oh, we got, we got a little bit of action. I don't know, oh, success! Baby's trapped. So once he grows up, he should be pushed up into the water stream and into this corner where he could be collected by a minecart. And then of course, right down here, we have a little minecart room. I'll have some storage chests here for some extra minecarts eventually. Right now we have two minecarts in there. And I think the next thing I need to do is actually go mining to get a little bit more iron or diamond. All right, all right, I found a little diamond pocket. And by that, of course, I mean I found one singular diamond, I guess. Uh, let me keep looking, because I need at least three diamonds. I, wanna, I can try to get fortune on a pickaxe. That would be ideal. All right. Well, that's that's a pretty nice amount of iron. Now, all I got to do is smelt this up. Hey, hey uh, check it out. Everything's working perfectly. This man's right where he needs to be, ready to get carted off wherever he needs to go. And I don't know if you can, you can kind of sort of see it. See it tip top, tip top of his head. Little, there's another little guy down there. Now, if you guys uh, would like to see how to build this thing in a little bit more detail, please let me know in the comment section down below. It's not my design. I'm gonna put that out there right now. I believe this came from Logical Geek Boy uh, a few updates ago. I think it was like his 1.17 villager farm, maybe 1.16. But you know, as you can see, it still works perfectly fine. But yeah, I, I can I can maybe make a tutorial if you guys want to know a little bit more detail, or I can link to his tutorial in the description if you guys want to check that out as well. But we got more work to do. Now the next thing that I really want to do and the last thing I want to do for this episode is to try and get a iron farm up and running. I think an iron farm is going to be very important so we can make sure we have enough minecart those guys to a village trading thing that I'm probably going to set up over there. Before I do anything, I got to figure out what I'm going to build this out of. I don't know, but this is a good time to show you guys uh, what I have done with the wall here. I built up a little bit. I built up this wall. I think it looks nice. And I did a little bit of a pathway here. Basically, this is just so I can get up and down with my horse a lot easier. All right, I think I've got everything we need. All right, so we got the first platform in. This is going to be where the water is going to kind of just flow, push stuff down this way. And now I need to go ahead and put in the chambers for the dudes because I don't know if you can see, but we got three little heads over there. And we can go ahead and put our villagers in where they need to be. I guess I probably could make this out of glass. I think that looks better. If you can see it, I'm not even, I can't, I have a hard time seeing it. <laughs> and I got this thing set up so I can see inside and uh, watch the magic happen. I don't want to watch him burn. That'd be, that'd be, uh, be kind of insane of me. I, I don't know what kind of person would want to do that. I almost forgot though, what might be the most important part of this. Hello, sir. I don't, you're not home. I'm taking your bed. Thank you. I'm going to just slide in here. I'll take your bed also. I really appreciate you guys being so, uh, open to this it's really nice i love the villagers in there open door policy you know the door is open just take it <laughs> okay so we gotta face the beds pillow towards the center that way the villagers can actually use them all right so i got all the chambers down here set up i finished setting all this up we're gonna put the zombie right here in the center and then we have the holes set up for the villagers to come careening down into there so now let's go ahead and send our first contestant up work smoothly Let's just make sure he is where he needs to be. And number two is in place. And number three is in place. I thank you all very much for your sacrifices. The things you do are going to be fantastic. Now, the last thing I want to do is put a water source here to make sure that the zombie cannot burn up. Now we just wait for nighttime. Now, here's an important question is can these guys sleep? They should be able to. They have contact with their beds. But it looks like they're kind of all wanting to go to someone else's bed. That is a little bit of an issue, I will admit. Ah. Well, then I'm really not sure what the problem was. We got spider jockeys and creepers and all kinds of nonsense. I, this is the part that I was not excited about. There are some zombies over here. Do any of you guys want to pick up an item for me? You do. Perfect. Now you, my good sir, you.
are the chosen one, and I really appreciate you volunteering for our experiment today. Now please come over here so I can put you in a minecart, please. Thank you. Dude, that bone hurts. Go. Off you go. You're gonna do wonderful things. I know you're passive until I attack you, but I can't sleep if you're standing there. Please move along. I'm not even sure how you got down here so quickly, but we have our first iron golem. Gotta squeeze in here real quick, sir. Uh, don't please don't mind me. Uh, I'm just gonna put this on your head. I really appreciate you supporting our cause. Our first successful golem captured. This is going to be the uh, moment of truth part. So okay, so I'm I'm a little bit afraid that we're not breaking line of sight well enough with the zombie, especially with him sitting down. And normally the way that they would break that is by having these guys be able to run up onto their bed. But I I think I tried to squeeze it too much together. So basically, is I, I have a feeling I built this wrong, and we're just gonna have to see what happens. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to do it. I'm sorry. Goodness gave me a heart attack. Dude, if that was the way that we lost our hardcore world, I I would have actually screamed. I would have actually lost my mind. That scared me so much. Okay, so here comes the real, the moment of truth here. Sun's going down. They're gonna want to attempt to sleep soon. They, look, those guys down there are attempting to sleep right now. They do not seem to be attempting sleep so far, and it is definitely time for them to be wanting to sleep. So, right, let's see, we got one golem. If we can get another one to spawn, we might be okay. Maybe they change the requirements for attempting sleep. While we wait, let me just remind you that you can use code Chiro1 for Dubby Gaming Energy Drinks. Hey, right over there. Do you like Dubby? Now, after some slight adjustments, basically meaning I had to move these guys down one notch. So that means they break line of sight just long enough that they can attempt to sleep because the villagers were not sleeping and so golems were not spawning. Just like him. And this is actually running fairly well. So I would say this is a success. I see that as a project complete. And I also would say that's a video finished. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you for checking out these videos. They take a long time to put together, especially since I do also work full time. And thank you for being patient while I try to get these things out. This has been Gyronic. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. Oh,